Hi, welcome to Margarita Says, and today I'd like to talk about, I do a book review, and I'm not going to go over the whole book, and you know, you have to read it for yourself, but I think I'd like to point out some amazing things. Um, this book that I'd like to review is by Robert Sapolsky, and it's called Why Zebras Don't Get Ulcers. This is a, such a deep book. It's very, very thoughtful. Uh, it's very intelligent, it's very brilliant, and it's one of those books that move you, you know, move you and alternate your life, and uh, those are the books that I love the most, that they expand me as a person and make me better as a person and make me aware of the world and teach me new information that I didn't know about, useful information, and this is one of those books. It's uh, His style of writing is kind of between... Richard Dawkins and Christopher Hitchens, whom I absolutely love. Very dense, lots of information. And I'm gonna just point out, I'm gonna go over a couple of things. You know, this book is obviously about stress. And Robert Sapolsky points out that, you know, obviously if you were born poor uh, and you were born into parents that are not very uh, loving and not very supportive, most likely you're gonna live shorter and most likely you're gonna be more stressed than the person who was born into middle class or wealthy and who was born into a loving and supportive family. They got a better um, sperm lottery. <laughs> that's, what I would, uh, th that's what I would call it, sperm lottery. And their chances are better at life and, and anything else. And I know it's unfair, but life is not fair. And, you know, it is what it is. And But he does give advice, you know, how to make your life maybe better and less stress but you know poverty if if you are poor most likely you're going to be very very stressed in your life i'm going to talk about john henryism and two i'm going to talk about barry jm barry i hope i pronounce it correct i'm sorry if i don't but he's an author who wrote a very famous uh, story about peter pan and we all love that story so um one of the things I want to say about uh, social mobility in the United States, we used to be number one. We used to be, a long time ago, we used to be a country where, uh, you know, if you were born poor, you could change your social status, you could change your social class and uh, by hard work. But we are not any more socially mobile country. Uh, we actually not number one and we're not number five. We're like somewhere number ten. And um, many European countries are ahead of, uh, of us. And a lot of European countries, they spent more money on social developments, on social support programs, and on social um, well-being programs that America don't. We value money very much here. And it, it actually holds us back as a society. And, you know, in Canada, where they spent a lot of money on social social programs and social well-being programs on education and on health care people in Canada live longer and that's just a fact and it's very sad to me and I think like in America we, we leave poor people behind you know sure we have welfare and we have food stamps and we have Medicaid but all those programs are not enough to uh, they are not they are not helping the poor person to become not poor because they just kind of sustain the poverty and let it go but they are not helping the poor person to stand on their feet and that's where we're failing as a society and it affects us so here here we go so jm barry so one of the things is you know and this is advice to future parents be very kind and very loving to your kids it's very very important such a great story, Peter Pan, and we all love it about a boy who never grows up. But behind that story is a sad story about the author who himself never grew up uh, to his full size. And the reason is because his mother, he had an older brother who died in an accident. And his mother like always loved that older brother more than J.M. Barry, And he wished you know that he was his brother and and he never grew up and the mother didn't pay attention to him at all you know once his brother died she started ignoring uh, jane barry and she 
acted like he didn't ex didn't exist and it really scarred him for life that's why all his stories in fact not just peter pan but even the stories that he wrote when he was seven years old were all about the boy who never grows up because he himself didn't want to grow up because he really wanted mother motherly love he in real life he never really grew up and he was a sexual i think he married but he never really uh had a relationship with his wife and he never grew up to his full size so scientists called it a psychogenic dwarfism it's about condition that you never grow up and it's very interesting because robert sapolsky points out there are many evidence when children are not loved by their parents and completely ignored many of the children do not grow up uh, to be their full size and because touch uh, nurturing love it it releases a growth hormone and when you grown up when you are surrounded by a nurturing family or nurturing friends you know that hormone still releases as a growth hormone but you don't grow anymore but you you know you your cells regenerate faster and you know you live longer your immune system is stronger so I thought that was an amazing story how behind Peter Pan there's such a sad story of an author who was never loved by his mother.